How you guys doing? My name is L. I am the owner of Liz Barbershop, and I'm going to talk to you guys about the very first month of owning a barbershop. I'm going to talk to you guys about the good, the bad, the reality versus expectations. Okay, we're going to start off with the good. For me, the good was doing what I love to do. This is my passion, so coming to work every day just felt like I was just hanging out in my favorite place, doing what I love to do, talking to people, cutting hair, making them feel good about themselves, and, you know, learning from them, and, you know, them, you know, learning from, from me. Um, there's some more good. Uh, the other goods are more like... Um, just come in here to this place. I, I really love this place. I love the, the decorations. I've been looking here, and it's it's it's, it's uh, motivated behind something really deep rooted for me. So, um, like just coming here every day, I'm just, I just feel really grateful, and it's probably the best thing to happen to me or for me in years. The bad about being a barber in a brand new barber shop. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just something that, you know, it gets better in time. Um, the bad or the con for some people would be, you know, lack of clientele, having to introduce yourself all the time to new people. I don't mind, but to some people that might be an issue. Um, also, you have to get used to different kinds of clientele. Meaning, like, for me, I used to cut for eight years prior to owning this barbershop, inside of a barbershop. So, my clients, I see them, they re I already know what they're going to get, unless they decide to do something different. I already know how they face or their head is. You know, they have, like, certain things that I have to be careful with, certain things that I have to maneuver a certain way with. I would know. With new clientele, you don't know, so you just learn as you go. You know, you might you might be making a mistake as far as the way they like their hair to be styled or the way they like, you know, their hair to be treated, things like that, things of that nature. Also, some of the things that you need to get used to is, um, you know, getting to be uh, talking to people. Sometimes some people are not people, a people person, but if you're a barber, then you're gonna have to be a people's person because that's just what your job pertains. You're gonna have to talk to people all the time and just um just learn things from them and learn things about them to keep them coming back. You gotta treat your clients like they're your friends. You gotta get to know them, you know, get them, let them get to know you and you provide a friendship. Plenty of my clientele from a free ball shop or some of my friends to this day. That's because you build that friendship, that bond through cutting hair, believe it or not. And you could build business relationships and anything of that sort with that. All right, so we're going to go into the pros and cons. The pros of owning a brand new barbershop, it allows you to design your barbershop to operate in ways that other barbershops are lacking. So for me, I took everything I learned from my old barbershop that I loved and I kept it. Everything I did not like, I got rid of it. My barbershop is appointments only. We have uh, doors that we have to be buzzed in. We have cameras, refrigerators for the uh, for the barbers, microwaves for the barbers. And for the clientele, we have TVs, iPads, um, water, comp complimentary water, things like that. You got to, you know, give out to Try to make it like an experience really good. And plus we keep this place up, uh, as clean as possible. You want, to, want everybody to come here and feel comfortable. You don't want people to come here and feel like they're in a dirty place. Um, I think things like that are really important. That's what keeps your client coming back when they feel like they're clean. Uh, the barbers are friendly. The barbers uh, make them feel at home. They could relate to the barbers. And also on top of that, get a really good haircut. Speaking of that, Haircuts are number one priority next to customer service. I know it might sound like it goes hand in hand, but a haircut could be just the way the person look and they could be satisfied with that, but the way you treat them as a customer is also very important. So those things run neck to neck. So um, the con when it comes to that is 
like I said prior, if you're not familiar with that client, you might not give them the exact haircut that they would like. But if you're a skilled barber, you give them a really good haircut and they will be happy with it. And they will just tell you next time, hey, I really like that haircut. Next time, just you know, add this, add that, or take away this, take away that. But they will never say you gave them a bad haircut. It's just that you know they adjust to it. And, and if you could adjust with them, then you will have a client for life. Uh, another con is getting used to overhead. For me, I never owned a barbershop before, so overhead was just me paying booth rent. Right, so right now I pay rent every month. Um, utilities such as light, you know, electricity, um, the water bill, Wi-Fi, and business insurance. So my overhead is much higher than it used to be. Um, another con is if you're a brand new barbershop and like myself, I was eight years removed before I got back into the actual barbershop setting, is that you're going to have to recruit barbers. And as you can see, my chairs are still empty, but it's okay because I want to build this barbershop on quality, not so much on quantity. So I'm going to take my time and I'm going to find the right barbers that are like-minded like as myself. And then we're going to build this and we're going to be in a place where everybody's comfortable, clients and barbers. So that you want to take your time, you want to hire right, you want to hire with a, with a uh, but based on value and potential. So for, for value, it will be what they get in here. For potential is what the neighborhood will allow them to make as barbers. Um, another con would be just being in a new location, you have to be, you have to get a feel of the location. Is there parking? You know, are people are, are there a lot of foot traffic? Um, is it is it an easy place to travel to? For me, the con is it's not that much parking over here, but there is a lot of foot traffic. So you got to take the good with the bad. All right. So the pros about owning your own barbershop in the first month of owning your barbershop. The pro is this, you come to work, you make your own schedule, you do what you want, how you want, you don't have to have somebody tell you what to do. For me, I love that, but I also treat myself as I am an employee. I try to get here early, every day, I'm never late. I try to get here about 40 minutes to an hour early, heat the place up, get my hot towels going, uh, clean my station. I usually clean before I leave, but sometimes, you know, you want to tidy it up a little bit, sweep sweep up, make sure everything is clean, make sure everything is set up for your appointments that's coming up. Um, another pro is I get to set the ambiance. You know, I set my own music. Um, I set up the temperature. I don't have to be in a place where I'm too cold or too hot. Of course, you gotta be mindful for the clients. You wanna make sure that they're good. Um, but for the most part, I get to control everything in here. I get to control how I cut, you know? I, I don't get a barber that's gonna be on top of me tell, telling me how to cut the clients because they wanna be done a certain way. They, you know, some barbershops have a certain setting that they want. They want their clients to be uh, treated a certain way and that's it which is fine, there's nothing wrong with that, but sometimes it limits the barbers, you know? I, I, I could do whatever services I wanna do, and I don't have to cut myself short, I don't have to cut my clients short in services. Um, another pro about owning your barbershop is your prices. I'm allowed to set my prices. Uh, my prices, I feel like, comes with everything this barbershop gives out to my clients, you know, they, there's no waiting. They have appointments to come in, they get their haircut, they enjoy their day before they get a haircut, and after they get a haircut, they don't have to spend their whole day trying to get a haircut. Um, so, with that also, it allows you to be flexible with your prices. And when you're flexible with your prices as an owner, you bring that money in, you don't have to give it to nobody. For me, uh, when I was in a barbershop, I didn't have commission, but I had booth rental, which was no problem. But as far as if I wanted to make more money, I wouldn't, I wasn't able to do that because, well, I would, I would make more money off of clients, but not like off a service because I would have to go to the owner 
and ask them, hey, can we go up in prices? And if he's okay with it, then you probably set up a meeting and we go up in prices. If he's not, then I just gotta stick to those prices. When you're an owner, you get to control how much you charge. Uh, another pro about being an owner is once you get your chairs filled up, you're pretty much in here cutting just because you want to. For myself, I will be cutting only because I love to cut hair, not because I have to. You know, so my goal is to fill this barber shop up, have it really busy, full of clientele, so that way when I come in, I'm doing what I love to do because I want to do it, not because I have to do it. Now, let me get back to uh, reality and expectation. When I first planned on opening this barber shop, um, I put it out there and everybody was like, yeah, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come. I got you, I got you. I was looking like I was gonna be booked every day full in my mind. But that's not how it works. So that's the, that's that's uh, that's reality versus expectation. Well, for me, a lot of people was telling me they're gonna come come get a haircut. And some of them did. I'm grateful and some of them did. I really appreciate it. Some of them did not. And that I don't have no hard feelings for those people at all, or my friends, or family, or whoever, or clients, it doesn't matter. I still have plenty of love for every single one of them, but I understand why some of them didn't come. It might be in my prices, it might be out of their reach, I don't know. But the reality is I'm not booked all the time. Some days I'm booked completely throughout the day, some days I'm not. And that's just part of the business. Some days are slow, some days are busy. But I expected it to be packed. I expected barbers to just be jumping at my feet saying, hey, yo, can I work here? Can I work here? But that's not how it's working out. I had some barbers, I had barbers that are really interested, but they're not, they, they don't come off as in somebody I will work with based on the conversations that we had. And some of them I, are, I am interested in working with. I'm just hoping that, uh, you know, everything works out in our favor for both sides. Um, everything is fair, you know? But reality versus expectation, I did not get what I expected. But morally and, and um, what's the word I'm looking for? Spiritually, I am getting everything I expected and more. So therefore I'm still winning. Um, the fact I'm able to do this, I'm very grateful. I'm, I feel like I already won. So I only see nothing but up to go from here. My first month was really good. I'm not under, I made money. Um, I feel like it's only going to get better. I haven't worked hard yet. I worked days and stepped in, you know, stood on my feet all day, but that's not working hard for me. So today I took, I went out and I gave out some class to the community. Hopefully it brings in some more clientele and hopefully I bring in some more barbers and we get this place rocking. So this is the first month. I will keep you updated for the next couple of months to come. And anybody out there that's trying to open their own barbershop, I'll say do it. And if you got the money, Put your money into it. If you got the passion, put your passion all the way into it. I promise you, it would not let you down. This this business is a business that's never gonna slow down, never. And if you got the skill set and you got the means to get it done, I would say go ahead, don't hesitate, do it. But when you do it, you gotta do it right. This is Elf from Liz Barbershop, and see you guys next time.